Isaiah 43 verse 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. How many of us want God to do a new thing in their life? This verse in Isaiah is special to me because God says, I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This means that wherever you find yourself, whatever season you're in, God can do a new thing. He can make a way for you. When you're in the middle of a tough situation, it can be hard to see beyond the present. When there's darkness all around you, it can be hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. We don't always get to know when our problems will get better. Often, a solution comes when we least expect it. But the good news is that no problem lasts forever. There will be an end. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not even a month from now. Psalm 30 verse 5 says, For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Now, as we continue to place our hope and faith in Jesus, we need to know that one day the storm will be over. You will make it through to the other side. God will make rivers flow in the desert. So, dear friend, whatever you are going through, it shall pass. Maybe you're in a dry season, a season where life seems meaningless and you feel as though you're simply drifting. Perhaps you're at a place where God seems as distant as the stars. Maybe you're in an impossible situation where no matter what you choose, you just can't win. For some of us, that tough place has become a stronghold of sin and you can't seem to let it go, no matter what your problem may be. It will pass and God will do a new thing in your life. We can't always change our circumstances but we can change our attitude and our outlook. We can choose to feed our spirit with God's word and reject the spirit of fear. So wherever you're at right now, you are not there by accident. God has placed you where you are. The fight you face, the battle you're in, it all has a purpose. In the fullness of his timing, the Lord will make a way for you. Let us pray. King Jesus, the Almighty One, teach us to be more trusting. Help us to build our faith. May the Holy Ghost teach us and remind us that the troubles we face serve a purpose. The pain that we feel, the people who reject us, can all be a blessing in disguise. The tough situations and trials we go through can be the Lord ordering our steps, positioning us for increase, for healing, for breakthrough. Holy Spirit, help us to see that the Lord sometimes uses our troubles to remind us that He is a deliverer. He is a savior. He is our hope and rescue. He is the chief cornerstone and the solution to all of our problems. Father, even though it may hurt when troubles come about, give us the grace to keep an eternal perspective. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 17 says, For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So help us to have an attitude that remains positive and hopeful in you, Lord Jesus, because the troubles we face 
no matter how difficult or how overbearing they may seem at the time, they are in fact light because they are only for a short while and they pale in comparison to the joy that awaits us in heaven. You, Lord, are faithful to empower. You are faithful to help us to stand strong and victorious and not to be defeated. And because Jesus is victorious over Satan, we too can walk in victory. So I declare that through the grace of God, we have the faith to stand against Satan's attacks and win. We are not defeated by my troubles in Jesus' name. We are not oppressed by our afflictions in Jesus' name. As long as we hold on to you, Lord Jesus, we will live and enjoy a victorious life. We will know you as a healer. We will know you as the one who can restore double what the enemy lost. We will know you as a shield and protector. Enlighten our spirits, Father, and help us to see through the eyes of faith. Help us, Lord, so that the eyes of faith may lead us to walk in your will. Father, I believe that the battle has already been won because in you I have peace. Though in this world I may have tribulation, I will take heart. I will be of good cheer because you have overcome the world. Your word, Lord, says in 2 Chronicles 20, verse 17, You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them, for the Lord is with you. Lord, we speak this word over our lives. We do not need to fight our own battles because the Lord will fight for us and we will hold our peace. We will stand firm and stand in faith. Lord Jesus, with you by my side, with you at the center of my heart, how can I be defeated by the troubles of this world? How can I be defeated by the schemes of the devil? How can I be beaten when your word says in Romans 8, verse 37 to 39, Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for everlasting peace. Thank you for an abundance of blessings. And above all, thank you for showing me mercy. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen.